Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever, the Square England Let's Play series. And we're fo focused today, as you can see, on the, uh, what's it called? The Grantham Hub, one of our major freight turnaround uh, stations. And we're doing that because today is the start of something really quite dramatic. I'm going to pause it here because there's all sorts of things going on which aren't in this screen that you can see here that I don't want to pay attention to for a little while but do need to be fixed. And yes, it is the oil delivery system again. It always is. It's, just, it's one of the simplest of the freight, ch freight chains. Um, you just take oil to a refinery, it turns it into fuel, deliver it to a town. What could be simpler than that? Except I've got a complicated setup of mixing this, that and the other and all the way across the map. Um, and it gets a little bit unbalanced at times and I have... Um, there's all, I'm, I'm thinking of an, another way of tackling it as well. Um, but I don't want that to get too far out of hand while I do what's going on in this episode. Right, I brought the um, balance sheet up, as you can see here, um, and yeah, I'm earning uh, over 180 million each year for the last couple of years, um, and still managed to make a loss of 10.1 million in the last year because I'm spending ridiculous amounts of money, 118 million, on new vehicles. I'm not going to do that this time, but I am still in all likelihood going to lose money this year. I've already started off quite well. I'm currently five and a half million in the red, but yeah, that, that's that's the shakes. <laughs> that that's how the cookie crumbles. Or that's whatever whatever the um, the uh, uh, the simile is, or whatever the the, the phrase is. Whatever. <laughs> I'll stop waffling now. I think. Um, yeah, because it is time for me to actually get my finger out and be bold, be brave, and create a proper cargo chain. And it's all going to be centred around this hub, which is kind of why I built it here in the first place, to be honest. At the moment, I'm making no use of this forest, what is sat here, very conveniently next to it. What we're going to try and do is build tools to deliver to as many cities as we can. Tools need all sorts of input. Uh, now, where's my tools factory? There it is up there in the hills. And to create tools or indeed uh, machines, we need wood, uh, uh, we need planks and steel. Or to make machines we could use plastic instead, but I'm not going to do plastic for the moment because that, that just adds complications. So we're going to need both steel and planks. Now planks are created from wood, which is quite nice actually because we've got a forest down here, we've got a sawmill thing up here to create planks, so I can send them up to the um, tool plant up there. Creating steel, again, requires multiple components. So here's our steel mill across the river on the south side. And that requires coal and iron ore. We have a coal mine up here, which is nice and conveniently close. Um, we've got an iron ore mine around here, so there it is, up here, which isn't isn't actually that far away really to be honest that's a nice good train length I think uh, distance to get that um, but it is in amongst the hills and the other side of a whole mess of train tracks so what we're going to do is try to bring all this together we're going to bring the steel and the planks I think into the hub and from here we'll distribute it out to the likes of Exeter to Falmouth to Whitchurch, of course, and anywhere else we can think of. Uh, in the meantime, I'm doing all that and ignoring all the other problems on the map. I'll get round to them later, probably. OK, now, what I'm thinking is, is because we're bringing stuff across from the south of the river here, uh, the steel in particular, uh, into this hub, it gets a little complicated. And if we look at how I've got the hub set up at the moment. I don't want, I want trains, that's it. So at the moment we've got, why have we got two trains going in? What's, what's that? <laughs> oh, the northern, oh right, it's the northern construction and the fuel bulk. And that's right, going into the same. They're both coming from the refinery now, down near Felixstowe. They could ideally go into separate tracks, to be honest, separate platforms. 
uh, and the food being taken out from here to Whitchurch. And we've got a line delivering oil and construction materials, in fact, up to Falmouth there. Now, I think I can add to this station, because I'm not using any of the big grand station mods. I can add another two platforms to this, which might not be sufficient. If we're going to be bringing in um, steel, bringing in planks, probably bringing in planks. Yeah, I think I'll bring them in together uh, for, to this station and then send them out to the factory together. Um, so we've got two inputs at least. Uh, we've got the output of the forest here um, and we'll, we will of course be distributing out to other towns. I think eight platforms is not going to be enough. So the plan is to add a southern hub to this, a southern side here. So down here where we've currently got the passenger line from Falmouth to Whitchurch, we're going to stick a hub. Um, a fairly substantial hub, I think. Probably... We'll make it six tracks, I think. We'll see how we go through on that. Now, one thing before I actually get started on this, and it's already been far too long before I start doing anything useful or productive, um, this may take me some time because there's a good deal of landscaping and stuff to do. Um, and there's going to be slopes and all sorts of contour issues going on, um, as well as trying to actually get tracks across tracks and stuff. So this will probably take me some time. I may well split this into two episodes, and I may or may not realise I'm going to do that until I'm after, after I've completed this, this video. So I might stop the video um, here uh, knowingly and tell you I'm going to finish it in another episode, or I might just rattle on and then when I come to edit it, I will sort of chop it down and you'll get a notice across it. I may or may not tell you I'm doing that by voice at least. Um, there'll certainly be a comment um, on, on the screen if I'm going to do that. So bear with me. Um, I may speed up bits of this uh, where things get very challenging because you know how much trouble I have with slopes and switches. Yeah, so rather than have you sit there waiting 10 minutes for me to get a switch set up, uh, I may s cut that or speed through it or whatever. But anyway, um, let's crack on. So what I'm going to do first is get this hub set up. Um, yeah, I think six should do. So that gives me one input for the steel. It gives me three or four lines out as well. I think that'll be a nice mix. Now, we're going to, have to disrupt this line here for a while. Uh, so let's, uh, let's deal with that. Let's get this out of the way. Now, the thing here in this is we're going to be bringing across... Let's take it back. We're going to be bringing stuff across from the steel factory. Where's the steel factory? Is that it there? Don't... That's it. Uh, so that's coming across there. That's going to be coming down and across the river on a bridge. So I think we want our station to be fairly close to this uh, this bridge here, as it were, the Eastern Bridge. I could call it that, couldn't I? It's a pity you can't name assets in the game uh, as such. Um, so we'll stick that in there. In fact, we'll probably get rid of that as well. Okay, now, because we'll be taking... I'm not sure, no, but the wood are we going up there? Let, what I want to do is... I've played around with doing this in a couple of ways already, off camera, just to see if I can actually achieve this. <laughs> is let's not do that. Is if I can avoid it, I don't want to have a connecting track between these two cargo stations. What would be nice is if they could transfer automatically, which means I need to have a road connection around the forest here. Achieve it without colliding. I can't. What is it colliding with? There's, there's no obvious redness on the screen, is there? Okay, I can, uh, there we go. Thank you. nicely okay um, yeah so I could have a connecting rail between the two stations here but if I can avoid that which I can I think oh and I've got a collision there it's not gonna 
be nice if there's a sort of fence or something around some of these industrial units or forests if you will uh, so you could easily see as where you could get up to how close you could get how close is that little bush there that little bush there is part of the forest and the trouble is you can't take that out individually can you Well, you can't delete industries. <laughs> At least I don't have the industry mod on. In fact, can you do that in the industry mod? I'm not sure. Actually, delete existing industries. Okay, we'll leave that there. And the station I'm going to use for most of these freight locations is my current favourite station mod of all, the flexible station mod. It isn't the ultimate one, which was released just uh, the last couple of months, I think, uh, which can do some incredible things in terms of laying out um, stations and so on um, but it is very complex uh, and you can and you can do too many things there's too many numbers and angles on this uh, on this for me to cope with this one does enough for me I want it to be larger than that won't be 240 yeah, I'm not gonna go huge uh, we don't want container I don't think if we need any lines to have electrics we'll put those in and but the main thing about the flexible station is apart from being able to put in all sorts of streets on both sides or neither side at the end of the station um, is you can put transit tracks in so like in this case I've got to have that passenger line going through I don't want the transit so I want the transit on the other side. Uh, I could put them in the middle. Uh, where should we? Could we put them? In fact, the other thing you can do on this one is curve, so it's not just straight. So the benefit you have over the, the normal sort of stations as well is transit tracks and all sorts of curves. So do we want this one to actually curve? We probably do a little bit. Uh, so we're going to have that. Do I want six platforms in here? Uh, what have we got? So what if we take that down to... That's on the outside there. I like having my transit tracks go through the middle, so let's put the transit tracks not there, but through the middle. Does that look good to you? I think that does. Now the thing here is if I place this here, does it light up? Ooh, you can just about see it does light up the the other station entrance. With any luck that is going to be enough. We can just about make it out. If I put that there. Okay. Let's assume that will work. Right, so let's uh, get a view of this map. I think we want to curve a bit more in No, nope, that's the wrong way. This is the B one I want to curve a bit. Good grief, no, not that way, that way. That's better. So the tracks coming across from the other side of the river can bend in, do we think? Or is it the other way around? Actually, no, that works okay, doesn't it? Actually, I think that just about works. Well, we'll see this when we get the try and get the tracks in from the <laughs> from the from the bridge. I am. Just wondering if we're close enough to. The 
bridge there to get the passenger lines across. Let's put it in anyway. Um, I've got 300 odd million in the bank, so that should be fine. Okay, so the transit tracks for the passenger line I'm going to go through here. Just draw them on there. So th this is different to most of the other sort of station mods that uh, allow transit tracks. You don't what container is. That's it. Yeah, because most of the other station mods put the transit tracks in for you. This one just leaves you space. So you can put them in exactly how you want them. So they're kind of independent of the of the station itself. Okay, so we're going to need to get rid of more of this. Right, can I then get you through? Oh, I can. It's slowing down somewhat there. Okay, we'll see how that pans out. And you're going excellent job. Right, so how's that look like on the speedometer? Yeah, if I take that back a bit more, which we might well do when we come to, to wrap this up, uh, we should be able to increase the speed on that, that section of track as well, so and you're going down to join that here. Well, that's a nice fast speed, that's cool. Right, so there should now be no interruption yet, there's no flashing indicators on the board there. Yep, so no warnings about broken routes, so that's splendid. Okay, now yeah, I think those two stations are connected, so any steel arriving here in this hub should be automatically transferred to this hub if that's taking the steel anywhere, which it will be, of course, up to the uh, up to the tool factory up there, wherever it is. Yeah, okay. Right, um, what we'll do, I think we'll add two more tracks to this one as well, anyway, while we're here. Uh, so we'll make that eight track. No catenaries, no second, okay, no curvature on this one. It's the same sort of stations we've got. Okay, that's cool, we'll take that. Right, so what we'll have is we'll have the wood coming from here, I think just going up to the, uh, the, the, the sawmill there, and then we'll have a separate line which takes the, which then, then brings the planks back to this hub, and then the planks will go from there along with the steel up to the factory there to produce the tools and it'll come back with those. So both lines will have goods going in, will have cargo going in both directions, which is what we're after. Okay, so where can we put the station here? What's my contours looking like? Okay, it claims to be quite flat around the sawmill itself. I bet that's not strictly true. Okay, so we probably don't need two tracks. And I probably don't need any curvature either, to be honest. Uh, where's the curvature? There it is. Okay. So if we. Uh, could we? So it's not going to go up from there, is it? Although it might. Do we want to leave in the option to have trains going through this station? Let me just have a... Th ah, do we want to do that? Because they then have to go up these inclines, either that way or that way. We do have factory there. No, I think this will be independent. So can I actually put in a terminal? Do you know what I've just done? Ah, the man's an idiot. I put a passenger station in there, didn't I? Oh, crumbs. <laughs> right. Okay. Is that deleted it? Delete that. There we go.
right. Okay, we'll have another go at that, and we'll put in... You were probably screaming at me for that whole ten minutes, I was arguing the toss over that... that station, weren't you? Right, uh, so this one is going to be... We have five, we have two, four, there we go. No catenaries, that's fine. Uh, we will take... Platform spacing 14, yeah, we'll do that. Mid. That's good. Okay. And we had some slight curvature in there. Can I remember which way around that went? Probably not. <laughs> Is it a bit like that? Of course, the trouble with these platforms are now wider than they were in the in the passenger. That's the distinction, I think, between passenger and the cargo stations is the actual width of the platforms. Okay, so I can stick that there. Let's get those tracks back a bit. They're know, getting in the way and interrupting and confusing what I'm trying to do. Okay. Yeah, that does seem to light up okay. That looks good. Okay. Right, second time lucky. So let's get those tracks back in there then. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing, isn't it? You would have thought after all this time playing this game, I would be able to spot the stupid obvious errors. Uh, such obviously when you start talking and trying to do things at the same time. It's a, lo it's a long way different to what it was. <laughs> Oops. Again, speed's an issue here. Okay, let's let's take these tracks. Can I take these tracks back further? Okay. Hopefully that won't upset the actual trains running too much. Okay, there's more work to do, I think, on improving those speeds, but they're pretty much acceptable-ish. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> okay. Well, it's slowing down a little bit as it goes into or goes through the station, but that's okay, I think. Right. Good. Right, there's more. Um, I could have put more of a curve on there, perhaps, but. Okay, we'll leave that as is. Um, yeah, there's more signalling to do on that, but I'll come back to that once I've got the stations in place. Right, so I was going to put a cargo station up here, and I was thinking, could it be a terminal freight station? We don't need it to be that long. I'm not sure I actually need it to be two either, to be honest, but... I like putting two in just in case, because you never know. Okay, the question is... Okay, let's get this. This road nonsense out of the way. Okay, so I can put you in there. It's not too expensive. And do I have room there to curve? Because I need to curve round into the station there, don't I? Okay, that looks like it's feasible. Let's just get the road in just to make sure we can connect to our sawmill. Without clanging straight into anything. Okay, that will do nicely. Where's our train station? Okay, that's cool. Right, and our tracks. OK, 
can we get under this bridge? Yes, we can. Well, that's nice and easy. Good. Can we connect to that? We can. That's sweet. Okay, I'll just take it. The other one is going to be closer to the pillar by the look of it, isn't it? So let's just check we can get this one through. We'll probably. It's a nice big cut, isn't it? Um, let's try that. We may have to redesign this a little bit when we put our second link in up to the uh, up to the actual tools factory. Okay, there we go. Am I going to have problems with slopes? Doesn't look like it actually. This looks quite good. Sweet. Right, I'll put the signals on here. Okay. And on there. And going out. And a nice pair up here. Okay, we may need different signals down here. So if we put a switch in here. This one's going to be a bit slower, I reckon. Right, so that's going up to the sawmill. So we'll get wood uh, from the forest up there and planks back to the hub. And we're going to need... This one's going to be more fun. And we need a station into our tool factory up here. Let's get this road out of the way to start with. And you as well. Let me smooth you up a little bit. I'm sure it won't make any real difference, but let's do that anyway. Okay. If we had one straight across there, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? Or would it be better over this side? There's less slopage to deal with. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we'll use a. F we don't want a flexible one again. If we use one of the terminal ones. Or. Just wondering, because Tools is a finished product, we could deliver straight from there to Falmouth, couldn't we, perhaps? rather than going into the hub and out again. Hmm. Interesting. What does it look like? Yeah. Unattainable terrain, basically. <laughs> Unless we put it around there. Which might actually work. Yeah, the one thing the, uh, the flexible station mod doesn't have is slope. Um, so you can't sort of tip it up on one end, uh, which in this sort of situation would be very nice, because it would certainly uh, make it easier to get it to conform to the to the landscape and uh, and often make it less expensive as well. Um, uh, and you can choose the type of street as well. Uh, so that's that's a ten length, ten meter length street as opposed to a fifty length street. Uh, and you've got different types of street you can connect it to. I think one is kind of the country lane kind of effect. <laughs> well, it's sort of out in the sticks. What's four? I haven't looked. Four, five. They're wider ones. Right. We'll stick with. We'll stick with two. We don't. Need, we don't. You don't simply don't need big roads going into these stations usually, do you? Um, right. So we do kind of want to go down fairly quickly. Thinking, I do want it to be here somewhere. Actually, now that works. That works there. Can, if we curve that, there's no real benefit in that. Is <laughs> if we curve that, the uh, 
me if that one seems to curve. Yeah, you could have curve it that way. Now the thing we're doing that, of course, is you're going straight down the hill, whereas if we take it straight out there, we can sort of ease our way down those quite dramatic slopes. So we probably don't want a curve there, actually. Thinking about that, and we don't really need one going up. Uh, if I stick that there, that's 416. We stick a curve in there. That's a little curve. It just becomes more expensive, so we won't put a curve in there either. Okay. That, I think, is what we will do. We'll just keep it a little bit, as much as we can on the flat here, before it needs to go down the slope. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so you're connected. Okay, so that's a really nasty, unable to align terrain. That's a good start. If we go up a bit, because the curve looks, sorry, the slope looks a little less steep down there. So we can get, can we get down that little gap there at all? And I'm going to have a right nightmare with slopes on this, aren't they, for, for a switch. Let's see what happens. Again, not that we'll need two trains coming up here. We're only going to have one route, I imagine, coming up here. Oh, let's keep that slow. Too much slope? Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> ah! Got it. Okay, uh, let's just light that up. Again, for those of you um, who are fairly new to the series, yes, these lights uh, do look wrong because... I'm trying to pretend this is kind of England-ish or the UK. So our trains, like all our traffic, of course, travels correctly on the left-hand side. Um, unlike, say, in America or most parts of the Europe. In fact, most parts of the world <laughs> travel on the other side. Uh, this is a modded um, tra tra rail, <laughs> rail signal, uh, which allows you to place them, as it were, on the correct side of the track, on the outside. You can use the standard one. You can use the standard lights, of course, but you have to place them on the inside to get the correct left-hand side travel. Right, let's get back to the track. So can we get down? Oh, this, is, this isn't looking too bad, actually. We are going very slow, though. And that wants to be a tunnel. Ooh! Or not! What if? Well, that's better, isn't it? Actually, we go down there, and then we could just join onto that track. And that's a good speed. I'm happy with that. Let's see how that works. Can we get the other side? we can. Did I actually join those together? Yep, that's all continuous, that's cool. Right, so, we'll get you travelling down. Ah, oh, look, pretty much on the flat there already, so we can have you joining there just ahead of the bend. This is looking remarkably good. Right, we'll get you there. And our second piece of track. Get you under the bridge. Excellent. Right, so let's get you connected. What do you mean construction not possible? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Does it prefer to come out that way? Collision with what? You might ask. Yeah, it does seem to have an is issue with um, everything is flat and joined there, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it? It appears to be. 
It does seem to have an issue sometimes with creating particularly long switches like that, or cross-track connections. So let's what's our maximum speed? Okay. We'll do that. And you should be able to join straight on there. But our speeds. Hey, look at that. That's, that's that's awful, isn't it? We can't close it speed down like that. Can we do that any better? We need to take those far back. If I cut that too far off? Uh, have I taken that too far off? You've got to join up. No, you haven't. Bother. <laughs> Right. Yeah, now you're misaligned. Yeah, I think trying to keep keep the tracks together once they've come out of the the switch is obviously what the issue is there. I think. So if we send them careering off away, so not actually running in parallel, which means we've got to take you. You're not going to hit that pillar, are you? Oh, that's horrid. <laughs> and it was working so well, I shouldn't have been so confident. Going down to 117 as it approaches the, the intersection, that should be fine. I think that's, oh, that's acceptable. Okay. Good. Right, so what do we need to do to switch? Get these lit up. So we're coming in on the left hand side. So we need one there. We need one there. And coming in from the other direction. Uh, there's no need for priority or precedence here because they're both cargo trains. So you, no, I'll leave them as sort of equal, equal opportunities. And Yeah, that's that's right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're coming in on the left here. We're stopping there. Coming in on the left there. We're coming in on the left there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. So once you've come out of the switch, just say it's free there. And likewise, ah, we've already got you lit up there. Cool. Okay. Oh yeah, I did those switches already, didn't I? <laughs> I was thinking ahead. Right, so there. And perhaps another couple there. I, I don't know how many trains we're going to have doing this run. We might even just have one very long one. Though I tend not to do huge consists. I tend to have more frequent trains with smaller consists running. And then we've got, yeah, we've got this switch there, so that will do, I think. Okay, so what we've got, we've certainly got part of our requirement there. Uh, so the, one of the first products, the forest is going up there, uh, bringing planks back, and then the planks plus the steel we're getting from the other side of the river, going up there into the um, manufacturing plant to bring tools back to the hub here to be sent down uh, and around from there yeah if we if yeah we'll probably use the the same trains we've got at the moment going from the hub to deliver the, the tools into into Falmouth I think we'll see how that works anyway right now that's the relatively easy one so how's this going to work I've got coal up there going to a steel plant there and we've got this passenger line here getting in the way we're going to have to reroute that or have it going transiting through 
the cargo station. Interesting. I've got this iron ore coming in from up there. So that will want to cut a yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a simple up and down that one, just like the coal is. Because there's nothing nothing they can take back of any value, unlike the two stations on the other side of the river. They're gonna be a single trip only. Um okay. So if we have a line coming in coming down and that comes down and they go out down here to come across the river. We're gonna have to yeah, we're gonna have a fairly tight angle on that. Okay. Yeah, okay. So if we take this outer edge one here, how are we going to get across the river? Okay. That's not so clever. That kind of works. Remember, we do have boats on our river. We do have a good passenger. That's going to need to be two lines, at least, going in there. Well, you know, it is going to just be two lines going in there, isn't it? Joining up, so we probably want to take that a bit further out from there. Actually, that's not. That looks like it's not. Is that too? That, how high above the land is that? It doesn't look too bad, actually, from there. It's not like a bad angle at all. Obviously, that's not the bridge we're going to use. Um, so we use that one. Or that one. When I'm when I'm dealing with with cargo, I like to have these big sort of girded or. I don't know, whatever you call them, bridges in there. You don't, can you see the names? Ah, iron plate bridge, reinforced steel bridge. Yeah, the um, the box bridge, as I'll call it, is it, it looks good, but it's just um, it's just disconcerting when you do a, a run through. If you're on a first person on the train, going through the box just gets a little unsettling. At least to mine, I guess it's, it's an optical thing, isn't it? I think that will do. I think it's 81 though. Oh, yeah. That's the, yeah, it's the curve that's doing that. Okay. Um, the boats are okay down there. That's fine. That's not an issue. There's obviously a big enough navigable area. Okay, let's do that then. And can we take you from there? Oh, you're gonna give you're gonna give me terrain issues. No. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. I want to bring this back down to ground. Doesn't look too bad, I think, does it? That does. Okay. So we'll take a bridge down to down to there. And can we embankment? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. Do you want to cut across the road or go over it? Good question, actually. Oh, you kind of got to go down and up again, do you? 
That's, that's a bit... Not so good, is it? Oh, that just looks a bit naff, doesn't it? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> the road can go under. That's obviously a major highway there. So at the moment, just for the AI traffic, I ha don't have any buses or anything going along there, but I might well do in the future. Okay, I'm okay with that, I think. We'll leave that in place. So, how are we going to do this? We're going to have to cut this. Probably quite a bit. We'll take it back as far as that for the time being. Just in case smoothing helps place this station and its tracks. Let's get that sorted. Okay, so what sort of station do we want up here? I don't know. Um, I think it's going to be a flexible one again, isn't it? Or do we want it to be that flexible? We're going to need uh, transit tracks. Okay, we want two transit tracks because it's a two-lane highway. Now the question is, where's that going to come in from the coal? mine. I think if we put that one in first that might give us a... where can we put that? If we put that up there can we come down that slope to get into the station there? Do we want to be all the way up there to do this? I think having a long enough run into the uh, the the steel mill will be advantageous. So sticking it sort of further back this way from the coal mine might work. Just concern the degree of that slope, though. I think it might be better this side. Okay, let's get rid of that piece of road. Anyway, uh, do we want any curvature on that? Perhaps. Let's try it without. Right, that's relatively cheap. Mean. Come on, connect, there we go. That looks a bit naff. That doesn't look any better. Still looks appalling, but it's only a connection. It's not terribly important to me. Right, now how can we get... Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Pretty, no, we're on the. That's quite nice and straightforward, but we're not coming around the bend there yet, are we? So, right, where's this? This is going to be flexible through station. We have two tracks. We are going to have transit. We don't need a long piece of connecting road. And I think if we put it this side of the steel mill, that gives me room to manoeuvre the coal delivery, doesn't it? Do we want it to be curved at all? Oh heck, yes. <laughs> yes we do. Uh, not necessarily on the B side, but on the A side. Something like that. 
terrain alignment clip. If we curve both sides. Again, I think I'm going I might well have issues with this switch there coming down the slope at least. And how's that transit track going to work? I don't think we're going to no. What we'll do, we'll take the passenger line straight across there. I think so it'll bridge over probably the uh, the cargo lines. Yeah, so this in fact we don't want two tracks, we want more than that. We'll take four. We don't want transit. Because we're simply not going to do that. Okay, how much more curviness can we fit in? That's looking quite good. Should we accept that? Right, decision made. Okay, so which side are you or well, that side? Okay. You can go in there or that's faster. We'll stick you in there then. I think. Okay, let's have a go at this. Oh, I don't like those. Too much slope. It works. I, I, again, I think it must be because I've kept them quite short. That's what that is. That, that's why it works. A proper speedy switch. Um, long switch would simply I wouldn't do there. I imagine. <laughs> Oh, by the way, talking of, um, well, I'm not talking about, I was just thinking of improvements to the game. Uh, I am still currently using the released version. I've not signed up for the beta patch, uh, the performance patch, which was released into beta uh, just a week or so ago now. Uh, possibly a bit more than that, but just recently anyway. That bridge does look naff, doesn't it? Okay. Right, so... Uh, we have got a station here. How are we going to get you connected into... You're not going to connect into that. <laughs> so somewhere like that. That is a bit slow, but it might work nonetheless. Okay, yep. This is looking acceptable, I think. That isn't. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure we need a switch on there, really, do we? Um, Plug it in anyway and just see what. <laughs> just how upset. Okay, I've got curves and slopes, so the likelihood of this working is pretty much nil. But I'm not sure we actually need that there. What I'll do. Thank you, Mr. Save. Okay, we will just run you. As even if we have two or three or four coal trains coming down there, um, they'll switch over there. Uh, did I have a switch at the other end? Oh, the other thing, I, uh, I think I said when I was starting this that I tried a few ideas out on how to do this before I started the recording. Uh, actually, it was, it was about a week, in fact, probably two weeks ago when I first tried this uh, this cargo chain out. Uh, the game actually crashed entirely. Well, in fact, the PC crashed entirely. Um, whether it's because 
of some issues with all these flexible stations and other mods going on, I'm not sure, but uh, so I was a bit wary then. And it does those sort of pausey things. Okay, so that's the coal coming in. We have where's the, where's the iron ore gone? I keep losing it. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, is he really all the way up there? Oh, this one's going to be fun. Right. So how are we going to manage that? Uh, let's have a think on this. I think we're probably going to need... So if that's... Actually, can we... If we can bridge that... We are coming down, aren't we? So we might be in a position to do that. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Uh, train station. Uh, will it work with a one of these? Actually, do we have a slopey? Oh, so the slopey ones don't do terminals, do they? They are <laughs> they're only the through stations. We're going to bridge across that section there. We can stay fairly high from here. I don't want four tracks. Two will do. Okay, we probably don't actually need even two, but uh, in one way. There you go. Does that look good? I think so. Okay, let's lay a line and see what happens. Nope, don't join on to anything. That is a very impressive bridge. Um, I don't think we want it to be quite that high though. If I if we keep this flat just for a little bit, well, not so much flat as not sloping too much. The flat goes up, <laughs> relatively speaking. Okay, just so I can get again. I don't really just. I like having switches in, but I don't really need one because we're not going to have multiple routes going in and out of here, are we? Oh, that's better. Right. Yeah, that looks cool. That's not too bad at all. That's not ridiculously high. That that looks good, actually. <laughs> that does look good. Uh, okay, what bridge do we want? Uh, we'll take... Right, the red bridges do go very fast, unlike the green ones or the girders, or the box bridges, as I tend to call them. Okay, that looks cool. Um, on out on there. So I want to start coming down from here as soon as I can. I've still got a fair incline to get down. So can we do that? I think we should be able to. Okay, can we draw that out? Ooh, if I come down on the wrong side, I hope not. No, got it. Don't, jo don't join up with the road. It's in game trying to be intelligent. There you go. Nope. So you can start coming down now. You're... Oh, this is a heck of a trip, isn't it? Um, actually, does it want to go over? It could.
could actually go over the uh, the passenger line uh, on that side. Okay, so. How does that work? Actually, that looks that looks rather cool. Uh, so, where will the passenger line go? Passenger line could cut under the bridge there. There's definitely room for that. Yeah, certainly. So you want that type? You want that type? And it's nice and fast. Excellent. Which I'm not sure is ter is terribly um, important or crucial for uh, for a cargo route, but that's that's looking good. Okay, uh, let's get this passenger route put back together. Just in case there's issues with this bridging thing I've got here. Where are you going? Where are you going? It's not crossing over, is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you can't go any... Uh, you can't get any steeper than that. Right. Okay. So are we going to have to intersect with this then, are we? Or create another ridiculous bridge? I mean, that is pure nonsense, isn't it? Oh, it looks almost as, that, as if that pillar was going through the other track. Um, Do you see that working at all? Ooh, heck. <laughs> okay. Right. Um. Yeah. Could that work? Could that work? I mean, that is... Pure, it's simply ridiculous, isn't it? That really is, but... Okay, let's see how far we can push this. That is, I mean, th those two tracks, they really ought to have a proper switch on there. Okay, now can I get you across there as well? Darn! No! <laughs> And it probably wouldn't take the second one coming down from the steel, uh, from the iron ore mine either. No, it looks like um, that's not going to be the way of it. Perhaps I should have put transit tracks in here after all. I wonder if that could still work. There's a heck of a curve there, isn't there? Let's just see what the. Uh, the game would make of it. I don't do that. The point is, I do have a fast train on that route, but that looks like that's that's not too bad, actually. That could that could work. Okay. Right. So we're not going to have the entirely implausible bridge system then that we were looking at. That's a shame. That, that really was quite outrageous. There we go. Uh, let's get you back to back there at least. Right, can I upgrade this station now? To put transit tracks in on the B side, is it? Yeah, there they go. 
So there, in there. Okay, which means the, yeah, the iron ore will have to come down into this far platform here, I think. Yeah, okay, let's let's do that. Let's see what the heck happens. And Freight Station 2 is not what it's going to be called. It's going to be called Exeter Steel Mill. Uh, preferably without bizarre cappage. Okay. Ah, right, so. Good job my bank balance is very healthy. I'm not going to look at the balance sheet just for the moment. <laughs> because it is certainly going to be embarrassing. Well, not embarrassing, just kind of outrageous. Um, yeah, that works. That works. Okay, let's do that. Uh, where's the other track here? Well, you're on the other side. I had thought you were the other side, but you're not. You might just go away. That's it. Okay. Send you down here. Magnificent. And then we'll come out the station. That's a fair old lick. And complain about slope. There we are. Sorted. Right, so where's my passenger line? So, yeah, we're going to get rid of all of this. Pretty much the entire line, really, aren't we? Uh, we might uh, we might even have to fix that tunnel. Okay. Right, transit tracks in. Ah, ah, right, this, this is a bit wrong, so that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, yes. Let me stick you in there, for the time being anyway. So I need you to join up with ah, Blinking Road. No. Nope. Out the way. No. You're causing me problems. Actually, let's get rid of this bit as well. I'm not certain I'll be joining you up there. Can you go round? You can. Right, that looks good. Well, the road might even go under the, uh, the railway track this time, so it's a uh, reverse. Operation. Uh, I'll put that sort of bridge there. Yeah, I'll put that sort of bridge there. Okay, uh, yes to that. And to you. Excellent. Right, so let's get these transit lanes in place. There we go. And where are you going to join up? There. 
Oh, I guess I got the wrong sort of brake. <laughs> 37, I thought, for a second there. That's uh, not a good speed. Because, uh, yeah, high-speed tracks and wooden bridges don't tend to go together very well. Right. That looks acceptable, I think. And the... Have I connected the wrong one? I have. Oh, I'm always doing that. This man is a blithering idiot. Well, it lines up. I'm not saying it's better, but there you go. Okay, so, so what's the problem there? Exit of... Oh, that's the street connection. I'm not worried about that for the moment. Okay, so our passenger line... I could do with straightening up a bit again, to be honest, but it's still connected, which is the main thing, so that works. Right, our steel our iron ore line, that looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? Actually, I'm not sure that smoothing it will improve it much. <laughs> it is the... no, but it's... There's an odd kink or curve, but no, actually that's... Yeah, that curve there in the bridge, isn't it? Other than that, that's quite an acceptable route. I'm, I'm jolly impressed that I got it over, over all that switch network on the... Uh, on the southern hub area. Right, should we try and switch this? So, just in case. Oh, this is going to be slow. Yes, it thinks it is. But it's not. Uh, lights. Well, let's put some lights in here, chaps. There we go. Uh, let me put a light in. There you go. That's it. And we will put lights on the bridge. <laughs> In fact, several lights on the bridge by the look of it. Yeah, lights on bridges can be finicky too. There we go. It's a position sometimes. Just a matter of wiggling it around, I think. Really, isn't it? More often than not. Just a, there you go, a little bit of a wiggle. And here on the entrance and exit. It doesn't help again that I'm using a, a modded light, which just. It's trying to run counter to the game's plan. So placing them can be a little bit awkward sometimes. But generally speaking, as you can see, they place very nicely. Uh, come on, let's. let's <laughs> he says, right, there we go, right, uh, we probably want more lights on, we don't have any lights at all on that passenger line, is that because there's only one train on that line still, it must be, yes indeed there is, but it's making me modest income, yeah, over half a million a year, which is fair enough, Okay, so what do we have? We have coal coming in from the uh, coal mine there into the steel plant. We have iron ore coming down into the steel plant. We have steel coming from there into the northern hub by the forest, or the southern um, hub. This will be Grantham. South. Uh, it would be if I could spell it correctly. That looks better. We don't need the contours anymore. Okay, so we have steel coming into the hub. We have wood going up to the sawmill from the hub and planks coming back. And we have um, a route for the steel and planks then to get up to the tools factory. And that can send the tools back here to the, to the main hub for distribution out to our cities. Right, and that will do for now. Um, there's more to do on this. We've got to set up uh, or rearrange our depot a little bit, I think. 
so we can actually get trains onto the these new lines to, to serve this new hub station here we'll do that and then finally put trains on there but I think this will definitely that does look very ugly I might want to rework that um, you may find it looks a little bit slightly different depending if I get really upset and if I can make it work better <laughs> off camera yeah, that does look really awful doesn't it right I'll see if I can improve that slightly I might do it off camera uh, because you've seen basically what I, I intend to do it's just sort of just finessing I think is the appropriate phrase here just finessing some of the, the tracks but anyway yes thank you very much for joining me today I hope you've um, enjoyed this episode <laughs> in uh, in attempting to create new routes and it should when it all gets going be rather exciting it's the first major cargo chain that I've attempted um, in fact in any of my transport fever games so this should be um, entertaining <laughs> when it gets going anyway if you enjoyed this do leave us a like if you have any suggestions recommendations criticisms anything you want to say um, about what the heck I'm doing here then please leave a note in the comments box below It'd be great to hear from you and of course if you've not already subscribed to the channel please do and then you should uh, become aware of when I upload new videos in this or any of my other let's play series but from me Ajax Post here in Transport Fever until the next time bye bye for now <laughs>